maybe he still cannot see his mistakes or his wrong side of the battle or what he was trying to prove. But what I can sincerely say Idris did, Idris was malicious about the justice he was seeking. Um, Star Mega Jam was like the biggest thing happening in Africa. I've been to like all the Star Mega Jam from Awilo, Lokomba, the one in Stadium, so the Tag first, C yeah, the first stadium show in National Stadium that re they raped so many people that period yeah. that they stopped stadium Just event. Just yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. bus people. Okay. No, there was right. a lot of yeah, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of controversy on that stuff. They had to stop the concert, the Shaggy from Shaggy to Osha, Osha, the Mul Jarul, and all that before this fifty seven two thousand and four. Now. All the Star Mega Jam and Star Trek we've been going to, Nigerian bills will never put you on their plane. They are not in charge of your logistics. You have to find your way to the venue. It is stated clearly on the contract. From the first day they started doing this event, they will never transport you. So then we used to go by road to all their events. Now like we call a lot of names like. Then we have this family of uh, Nigerian breweries, a regular customers, which is like still Idris, Tetula, Casey Presh, because I was managing Casey Presh, Casey and Presh, the Casey Limpopo of today. So we travel around the country. Most of the experience I have today is I will give the, I will give kudos to Nigerian breweries. We travel to even all these places you see where they fight war today, Sambisa, all those Yankari, all those Yola. We go to Bauchi, Jaws, we go to all these places. Like Jambu is the car that got these places for start, start, uh, start Trek. Then it was Star Trek. Then in December, they will now do Star Mega Jam. We do bring an international artist. Now, coming to this particular uh, event, before now, Idris was, was the bully of the industry. I will use that word, bully. Idris. Mm. He's tall. He's very tall. He did have these uh, bouncers, big guys, Malo. They have them ten ten. If it is going to a show, he they carry batting. These baseball bats. They are going. I like, see they are going for war. So if it is coming to a show, all our artists are intimidated because you might get beaten. Uh huh. Yes. That's how Idris ask anybody. All these artists, that's why they are they are afraid of Idris today. If Idris they come, let me tell you, all these are our boys today. If he say Idris they move, then in Koramo Beach, Lucky Sunsplash, DTD. If Idris they come, run because they'll break your leg. They, there's always a fight any show that Idris is going to. All the uh, what they call it, all the rough boys, Idris squad. Then Timaya used to be like small boy following Idris. Hey. That period. Oh, Timaya. Timaya. Yeah, Timaya was Idris boy that period. So Idris had this squad. Is he, he's this powerful, influential Lagos. You know, Aousa stroke Lagos. Idris speaks Yoruba very well. Yeah, and he has this outside influence. Like he has this northern strength. So now nah, nobody messes with Idris. You cannot cross Idris' line in the industry. Oh, I like that. is one. Yeah. Oh, okay. You cannot. Okay, okay. He's... Okay, okay. Okay. Mm. I will call you back. This guy wants your number. Who? Bumbastic. Bumbastic. Give her my number. No problem. Remember DJ Bumbastic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I will call you. I will give her. All right, bro. Tony. Okay. Yeah. Nami and so so they live. God bless. Oh, okay. I'm here. I'm here. Tony, yeah, so I hate you. Yeah, so <laughs> all of us, that day, day. <laughs> wish you a Merry Christmas. He said, friend. wish you Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> uh -huh. I will call you after now. He said, call you after now. All right, bro. Bless, 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 bless. Amazing work. I listened to Tony's new work yesterday in his car. Amazing Good stuff. Love. Anyway, I didn't hear you, Jari. Sorry, no vex. I had to pick yeah. Tony's call. So now, 
let me just cut this side now. Now, um, during the 2004 concert in TBS, Idris was big. Idris was very big. And TBS is like a, Lagos is like a feeding ground for, it's like home base for Idris. All the Lagos Aram boys, they like Idris. Idris was the madman. That he was the portable. You understand? You know, portable, we get the whole crowd. Idris has his supporters. Now, after the concert, where this problem started from, after the concert, the whole, whole security parameter scattered. Like everybody, security bouncers, uh, the whole police leave the event after 50 Cent performed. Now there are these problems after all. So as 50 Cent go, most of the top Nigerian police officials go, they all, they all left that venue. Security. So now area boys now come get access. Do you know when? Area boys get access to artists when they're supposed to be artists. It, it, you understand? But still, they don't do they don't do any artists anything. But they embarrass some, they harass some artists. So it just come the verse. Say why fifty cent? So, but from the angle of fifty cent, you can smell a little bit of. He was right, but but you can see smell a little bit of envy, like the special treatment of fifty cent. Because American superstar with the hot and you know when you they bring like artists way the rave of the moment you, you leave America come Nigeria with the whole G unit squad. You understand? They came. So the next day, uh the um, that is showing the way I think they perform they perform in Abuja. It just not only try to talk to most of the artists. So when we got uh, when we got to the flight the day of the Potakot event, I think it was after Abuja the Abuja concert. Nigerian police officials now say, okay, they will, they will give artists the, a flight ride. Like they, will, they will help artists to go. Because if the artists want to go by, they said they will either go by road. Then flight was a very big thing for Nigerian artists, I, I will be honest. Then it was Shashangi and IROS airline. They were the top airlines there. But this particular airline was Shashangi. So then KC, KC, Fresh, E-Money, E money today, the Bilonia E money, uh, Tony One Week, Obesity, the Tula, everybody were in the plane. Everybody play with our bed, we take enter. Everybody respect their body for back. It just now, now was not called the ginger. Everybody say, Come, they know the 350 cell like this. We need to get, you know, you know why they try ginger. Everybody say, Come, you understand? We need to be together and fight for our, for our, for our relevance and all that. He just goes sit down for the business class. I think it's 50 cents. He's gone, go, go, go. And I didn't go sit down. So long story short, he was trying to prove a point in a wrong way. But he was not supposed to be on that flight. The contract we all sign, you find your way by yourself to the venue. You've already been paid. Logistic, everything has been paid for. So you find your way. So I think 50 cents bouncer, one hefty guy, now came man, or you know, like an advanced guy that you know we do that today. You go and check the seat of your artist. You know that kind of now came to 50 cent. I think it was the, uh, when I came to Idris, I was trying to talk to Idris. From where we were sitting, from nowhere we sitting the tea on the heat. So 50 uh, Idris said getting one bouncer too, but they did like ants for where this this particular guy did. The next you see the guy they try to run the next you boom they don't blow malo for eye. Who be malo? Idris bouncer. Oh, oh. I don't call they they start started dragging and all that. So all this matter, he just come to look everybody, come they shout for everybody. See all of them I sit down, you know, as if we follow plan waiting in do. But that shouting as if everybody betrayed him. That is fighting for the is fighting for everybody. He came down and uh, then 50 said 50 said no see Idris at all. You know, we meet Idris. 50 said was not in that plane. He did not enter that plane. The whole Nigerian previous guys, he just started making call, trying to call some people. You know, then we will be fly. We sit down for where we did the fear. 
The next thing in Nigeria Bridge will say, everybody, calm down. This flight is not going. 50 cents is not going. Long story short, I think Charlie Boy came, and that time, Charlie Boy now, like, area father. He get to cut the people, like, he can pull crowd and all that. So, from there, they had their own discussion. I don't know if American embassy or something called 50 cent people or so. I don't know the American embassy. They told him some things. I don't know what they later did. That one. But now, this is that happened. Helped Nigerian industry in a bit. Mm. Let me explain how. Before this incident, there was one incident that Gordon Spark did. Gordon Spark. At Ocean View, Sean Paul was supposed to climb stage. Now, I think peace, after Peace Square Park finished performing, I'm sure. I think I can, I will call the boy and I ask him. I remember that Peace Square were in that show. Good boy, they don't mention your name for this. Life. Yes. Where are you? you? Peace Square. They, I think they oh. were in that show, Gordon Spark event. Now you join us. We like after they life. finished performing. I think they were trying to say all Nigerian artists should leave the state, leave the back backstage. It's not the not be the Nigerian blue is all oh no before they go misquote me. Mm. Gordon Spark, Guinness. So I think there was some issues behind stage because they said all Nigerian artists should leave backstage before Sean Paul will come. So Nigerian artists didn't like the fact that they were not able to interact with most of these international artists. You get. Mm. So after this Idris incident, Guinness now brought Wyclef. Guinness brought Wyclef using Laface, Tunde Laface. Yes, Laface. They now brought Wyclef. Now, this Wyclef they brought now rolled with Two Face. You understand? This thing when it happened before for industry because of that Idris incident. You understand? Mm. So. Wyclef come deal with Two Face, ride power bike with them Charlie Boy, you know that kind of thing. You know they negotiated a good contract with Wyclef because of that issue of Nigerian breweries. I think uh, Wyclef now did a song with Sultan and Two Face. That's how the game changed. So what he just did in a wrong way changed the industry. Mm. Mm, so mm. any international so we artists, need to, we need to also give a little bit to Idris there. Yes, yes, we need to give, but he did it in a wrong way. So, so Idris bridged the gap between the events the way they used to be yes. and what we have now. Yes, you cannot near any international musician. They will treat Nigerian musicians like rats, like cockroach. So he changed the game. That's why I know why he spent. Although he was not also too okay. a good person. Uh -huh. Now, now, now. So let's separate incidents. Yeah. Let us separate the 50 cent incident. Because by the time you listen to Eddie Remedy, by the time you listen to Tony Tretula, Tony Tretula said Idris drove him out. Idris said, the, the interview is available on YouTube. Watch it on youtube.com forward slash daddy freeze teaches. Idris told the organizers of the event that if he sees Tony Tetula on the stage, he will not perform. That is like, oh, their personal brother. So, so we need to separate. Daddy Freeze, Daddy yeah. Freeze. That one is their personal issue. It's not an It's happening. What you are saying is happening to you today. What you are saying is happening to you today. Mobad. Mobad was cancelled. Some people were fighting people not to give him shows. One of the reasons why I gave Mobad show at the general concert was because he cried to me that Baba, they know they give me shows. Oh. See, for my label, they don't block one or two. I decided to give him events. That's why I started giving him shows. You understand? Wait to this who they call me a bad person. They are still counseling. Many people still cancel artists still today. So that issue with Idris and Tetula, not their personal issue. But mm. what I can now, say about here's Idris my, is... Here's my point, so, so and I need you mm. to hear this. Because yeah. Idris also had issues with Eddie, with Tetula, even to an extent with Plantation Boys, to an extent, like I would say. So when Idris comes out and says, 
he was fighting for the industry i have an issue with that maybe on the plane with 50 cents he was fighting a fight that eventually helped the industry but he also did a lot of things to other members of the industry that he cannot say he was fighting okay for them that if that, suppressing that if is, let me point it. let me point out some things for you do you know that that incident killed the Jewish career because nigerian breweries were the people deciding entertainment at that moment no radio, every radio station without the instruction of Nigerian breweries stopped playing Idris's song. Idris sang the song, Nigeria Jaga Jaga. The current president at that time was Obasanjo. I was he sat on Idris. Now. We did, we did Koja 2003, All African Games, October. Idris was like the god of that event. Daddy Shoki, Daddy Shoki, um, Petula. Um, many, many, all, you show all top Nigerian artists were there. Um, what they call now, it? So, so hold on. You are giving yeah. us one side of the story because Tony One Week also witnessed the event and is coming. No, there. no, 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 no. I'm not talking on one side, I'm talking on what I know and what I saw. Uh -huh. I know because I see. let me tell you something. Because when I talked to who was it again, there was somebody else I talked to, and the person said, No, that Idris was fighting for himself. So what we are trying to do here now is get all the narratives in See, so we can have a balance. My point is, is my point, I'm not saying Idris is, I, don't forget, I started with uh, Idris first, was, sorry, I, sorry, I started. Anybody that comes out and says that the priest hates you are getting rapture. I will start with this one. Uh, Metro Dolo Hoke, Solori Buruku, your partner go do well this year. Ebilo Mapa Babati, yeah, by rapture. Mm. Mm hmm that it freeze. My People point don't want is, to hear the truth. That it, that it freeze. My point, what I, my point is, you don't forget, I started with the fact that Idris was a bully in so the industry. why are people mixing? No, no, no. You see, people, you see my point is, hold on, so-so. Uh, this is why we need to be very clear in what we are doing. Because people are, I do not understand Nigeria. I understand why we are poor in this country. I understand why we are we, suffering. I understand we why still we get, We still get bullies for this current industry. But forget bullies. All people want to hear is 50 cents, uh, Idris fought 50 cents for Nigerian industry. Every other thing he did to his mates, people are ignoring that and only holding on to uh, Idris told the truth. Idris told, Idris told a portion of the truth of what happened in one event. What about all the other events? We need to address these things. Wait, let me, let me finish my story now. Hmm? Um, I'm not here to judge Idris and I'm not here to make him him look good or make him look bad me too i want us to um, have the facts the good and the bad when idris was in his prime idris style of of performance is violence is this style of you know he's even has his hip-hop mentality like your hip hop now, gangster and all that. You get, he has that. But his personal issues with these guys, I'm not in the place to. Nobody will work with guy, Idris, get any good thing. Hold team. on. By these guys, so so, we are talking about mm -hmm. 20 different artists who have all come one by one to say Idris suppressed them at one point or the other in their careers. See, what? person and see all the artists that are coming out to say it did them this it did them that eh? i don't know their personal issue the only person i can pick out that was i know that he was bullied was tetula what about was, Maya? if you are no no i'm coming no 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 tell me so if Timaya no, no talk, i don't know if you talk on his behalf but what i no. heard about because if you know how many people have called me from DJs to musicians See. and not apart from you that are creating a balance most people have issues with Idris we can't sweep that away because Bongoli no. seems to think let me tell that the freeze that the freeze that the freeze no that the freeze wait that the freeze that the freeze wait hold on most of the artists today that you think are saints that they are stardom are covering the evil they do. Wait, give them ten more years. It is only like 
20 years ago. See, it, because this, hold on, so so, so so, that is you. <laughs> no, 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 no. We they fight for Mobad, who fought for Tetsuila, who fought for Eddie was crying on my life yesterday, he was weeping. That weeping where you see for life, na part two, in the office, I did inside car, they drive, and he called me, cry, I, I have to cut the call. Eddie today is broke. He's in America, struggling. What if he was weak like Mobad and did not have the ginger to stand for himself and start again? This needs to be addressed. We cannot just say, hey, because he, he fought, he wanted to sit in business class, then he fought for the industry. Eddie was a grown man. Eddie is 56 years old. Oh, okay. I don't want to go into their personal issues, but let me ask you one question. Was Eddie also perfect? Is a question I'm giving to you. I know Eddie very, very well. I know Joe, Joe, Jay Boy, his brother. I know them. His video, OTG, say, I was in his video. We shot that video like 2000 and like 2002 or something. OTG, say, the one that uh, this boy, this smart max. Today, where they rain, they were like three. Him and he is. We shot the video in Kenny's office. Eddie had his own fault, also. But I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say Eddie did this, Eddie did that. No, Eddie was also, Eddie has his own fault, too. One of the reasons Eddie is where he is today, he gets his own fault. I can't say here. So, Idris is who we we're talking about. I don't want to judge Idris by his friends. I don't know if you understand my point. I don't judge Eddie by him and nobody, him and uh, Idris and plan to mess um, Tetula up. But Tetula, God save her. They say, no get talent, no get talent. He gets song. He blow. The next thing he gets my car. In on the Tunubu today. Tunubu then was the governor. Tunubu, he don't eat my car. He made money. He started going to shows. But I don't want to talk about that because that's not my personal issue. I don't know. I don't want to get involved. But my point is, Idris was a bully. Idris was not that good. But the, the mistakes he made... Eh? So, so, can you say this part again so they can hear? Which part? The part that you just said again. Can you say it again so they can hear? I said the, the mistake he made. He was fighting a good fight in a wrong way. And the wrong time, but what he, he did impacted on the industry, whether anybody likes it or not. And even with when, that, I agree with you a hundred percent. Even when, even when, even when uh, Fifty Cent came back to Nigeria again, he just tried to make amends, but it was already too late. During Cora, I don't know if you remember Cora Award, one Cora yeah. event. That 50 Cent came and Idris now did surprise performance to apologize to him. Letter to 50 Cent. 50 Cent didn't buy it. 50 Cent left. 50 Cent was angry and he left the event with his jet. Nobody is mentioning this. He came on stage in Abuja and was rapping to 50 Cent, telling him how sorry he is. Do you know about that? So let's separate the issue so so. Okay. I hear you. Here's my issue. Here's my issue. We need to give 50 cents. Sorry, we need to give Idris his flowers for setting a precedent for the industry by taking the stance against what seemed to be preferential treatment for foreign artists, which we all knew was true. So we need to give Idris his flowers for that. But Idris also needs to come and apologize to the many artists one by one. That's my, my issue. I can, you know me, I'm a peacemaker. I like to settle things. Mm -hmm. Even the day where you and they do get issue, not be my life, you settle them. Mm -hmm. You remember, I don't I like issues. But you see, I see too much of things being suppressed just so that Idris can have one narrative 
people were, I did not I I've, I've never seen I never knew this as a bully. I just knew that artists they fear him. Nah. And this if is you the mess, if you have. mess with if this. Hold on. Eh? You can You see this thing? personal life. Okay, Naira Mali versus Mobadi's personal life. No, no, no. Let me even tell you. Let me even tell Naira you. Mali Civil, no, hold on. That is phrase, hold on. Civilization. Civilization. Hold on now. Civilization don't make don't make people like if somebody offend you now or if you threaten somebody, somebody if you come live now, come immediately tell the general public, say, ah, this person won't do me this, you know. Then EG squad, when you see EG squad, now fear factor. Now it is a cell. Mm -hmm. So because of that, other artists and you know, just imagine how you are successful and you have power. First of all, waiting the people here, they either get connection, it is now sad boy, it is get tagged with your boys. You know, that fear factor is something that it is was using to operate. You, you understand? It is somebody that does not, there are more evil people in the industry today. It is not do. Two percent of waiting than they do now. Now their fame, they cover their evil. Mark my word, the way civilization they go, make some artists stop to the rain. Make you see what's gonna happen. This is our generation of artists, both the Gen Zio and the five, six, seven years eight ago artists. If you know the evil with many of them and the blood we don't stain their hands. We know they talk this thing. Let me let me make one point now. I'm I'm fear nobody. Mm. The evil in the industry now is how will I put it now? In short, I, I will say evil not the industry before. The evil within now, courtism, occultic, spiritual evil. Let me Ask you a question there. Let yes. me ask you a question, and um, I want because because between yesterday night and today, mm -hmm. the amount of calls I have gotten from industry, please, Daddy, please, I can start to send you screenshots. I can start to send you, but, but, like, but like you, you see, like I always say, everybody has his own experience. Mm -hmm. It gets some people that go come call me say ah. Say this person eh, and a devil. I mean, well, my own experience with the person was fantastic. So yeah. we're going to give allowance for that. Can, can we use this medium to start to bring sanity to this industry from now? Do you know why it's hard? You talk, your life is in danger. That fear factor way it is they used before was not confraternity fear factor. Now you will see artists we don't we don't make money. The industry going to intimidate and go join court. Now lie. Uh -uh. Why they join? What did they join court for? When you get money, you get fame. Okay. We normally okay. go. So let us come to a rules right now um you go to the police the artist will walk out in two days in, or that same day so what do you want to do so instead you mind your business live your life silently but you see, don't get intimidated as as mind your business and live your life silently there's another mobile waiting next year to happen that's what i'm saying the see this matter to is deep past the way to the sea. So make Idris matter, eh? Is is trash to what is going on now in this industry. Hmm. So now the future, now go talk, not be now. What is what the people that are coming out now to talk about Idris go still come and come talk about maybe one of your favorites tomorrow. So now turn by turn. That's what I'm saying. So, me, what I can say about Idris is, Idris was a bully. Idris was very stubborn. 
he gets so I think there was some one incident of he beating somebody to come at one time. I kind of I forgot the incident, but I'm not sure. I don't want to say what I don't. I'm not sure, but there was one incident that of him beating somebody one time. If you mess with the agent squad, you don't go. So my own is he fought the right fight in the wrong, wrong way, wrong timing. But what he should do, he should, I think he should stop talking. He should just keep quiet because mm. everything seems to be. So what it's me, I even like, want now, as this matter don't get dimension, I want some elders in the industry. There is no elder still, in the industry. Hold on, so so make make I talk now. Mm. Maybe, maybe RMD, maybe Alibaba. My elders, I know people with senioros come. Hey, but sorry, maybe you sorry, let me explain to you. Sorry, hold on. Okay. Because even if there's no peace let there be an opportunity for people to let let you see let's right now with all, all that this talk that is going on even me i'm learning i might have been privy to a lot in the industry but as long as i was not on that plane that day i can only live on what every other person is telling me and people are telling me this, this day uh, you know, baba you know Nigerian breweries. Uncle Tony. You know Uncle Tony. Mm -hmm. I know that. Uh, uh, wait till me this guy name. Ima. Ima, I know Ima. Sam. These were the big boys in Nigeria. I worked for Nigerian breweries. I worked for Guinness. I know now, I know. Mm -hmm. you, you worked for, work for Coca Cola. Coca -Cola. Coca -Cola. Coca -Cola. But mm. for I, I had personal thing because I was on Star Quest with KC. As a judge, so I all of us, and they, all of us, yeah. they, they forget yeah. so, national theater. National theater so I also have I've gotten calls from agency people to tell their own side. Some people have said, "Ah, Idris was the one that was making sense on that day." Some have said, "Don't mind Idris." So there's a lot of information everywhere. The, I'm telling you the fact. The fact That's is, what, no, I appreciate what you have come to do today. Totally. A lot of I lies in this scene. Uh, See, let me tell you. So, so. There's a lot of lies in this thing. Let me tell you, Idris, Idris lied also because of is it Tony Yayo or Young? Yeah, Tony Yayo went on radio in America on a podcast and was now talking uh, wrong way and all that. He blocked the wrong way. That one entered Idris' head. That flight no shake. That flight no move. You see that flight? It did not move. Maybe that incident Wait, happened. What do you mean that the flight did not move? The flight did not take off. 50 cent did not get on that plane. Call Casey now. Casey now, your guy. Casey they inside that plane. In money. In money, they inside that plane. And the days that they close, close people like this, you can. They inside that plane. Make a call. Benga, guess who just sent me a message now? Benga, you know, <laughs> Benga, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remedies for my money. I am now, yes, now, yes, now. I won't call e money whether e money know they like put mouth for industry matter. No, even me said this matter I can't put self attire, but no, you have just to. to. So, so you know, no waiting you do, you bring neutrality and clarity to this matter because this matter it gets us done the bend go before, but you brought neutrality to it. And no matter how I grilled you, you stood on your ground. Two things you said. One, Idris was a bully. Two, he fought a fight that eventually benefited the industry. Yes. But you, you see, my own plan is how do we avoid a possible Mobad? If, if it is unavoidable, then our industry is messed up. I so, for now, I can, I can boldly say it is unavoidable because most of these axes get connection uh wilson nine two oh two says see free shame don't catch him now your papa will mount goat where your mama be take born you nine shame catch god go punish every member of your family chop rapture that's why they deal with these fools for my life now so say that's not the topic here freeze okay since you are the one choosing the topic let me rapture you Coming back to the elders in the industry, there is no elders in the industry. 
the industry get money once you have money as an OG, eh? you have power. Eh? Mm. Power. Where we say these new boys or whoever no go intimidate you. Because the game is about intimidation. The industry rises so on intimidation. Gradually become, we don't yes. gradually become East Coast, West Coast. No, it's not even about the East Coast, West Coast. Now, it's about. You know what's in the East Coast, West Coast? Probably. Yes, now, nah, yes, nah, uh, yes, the, the East, East Coast, New York, and the LA, um, West Coast, Los Angeles. Now, the industry is. Uh, you want content like Olisana and OG. But since Olisana no con the radio, again, they no con the respect her. You have you must always have something to offer. That's the only way they can respect you as an OG. I know RND now cannot come to the music industry and call anybody in the music industry in the A or B list that will listen to him. He will only call the movie guys. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. How, how many people okay, I want to ask you a question now. Are you an emotional? Is still relevant in the business. He has a television station. He has eddies. You understand? He get platform. He's supposed to be a senior elder. Like, but even in platform, they know they respect that because they feel say they don't go international. I don't know if you have my point. I so if somebody you. like, like that that is still relevant. Then they by cut, they know they won't go in. I want to be said and get they no get chance, they get chance. Most of them they even did the same city then. They also then go to Lagos, they need they go. So who is the elder in the industry? Then like people mm -hmm. they say, if you tell shut up, you go slap, you go feel slap them. One of the reasons why I'm still relevant, I was boldly say, you cannot intimidate me. This is why they talk, not everybody feel talking for this industry. Mm. You be artists with the make money i get money if you say you get power i get power so with the you are iron sharpness iron that's why i'm still in the game till now almost 25 years that if you get my point abi i get you i get you that's why that's the truth so there are no elders in the industry nobody can correct anything i get you but it's heartbreaking i will not lie it, it, it is heartbreaking because I see for the first time now, I'm beginning to understand what is going on in the industry. Before, I just thought it was misrepresentation of facts. Oh, uh, Idris and Charlie Boy had issues. Idris is uh, taking it one way. Uh, Charlie Boy. No, but the problem, the, the, other problem way. Of Idris, the problem of Idris of today, mm. I think he's talking too much and he's sounding as if he's jealous and envious of what is going on. That's the problem is having. Okay, so let's try to reach. Let's try to reach a sort of settlement. Since uh, everybody made their own mistakes in the industry, uh, we cannot say Idris was bad from beginning to the end. Neither can we say he was good. Neither are you so so good, mm -hmm. or am yeah, I? True. Fact. So how can we at this stage? Because I will not lie. Before now with the amount of calls i got the amount of messages uh seeing a dear remedy cry tony was in my house yesterday for two hours i was touched especially because i remember a bit of what was happening then you understand how can we now bring peace to this industry at this stage what can be done we need it, it, it's like nigeria there's no solution to nigeria's problem if you like carry uh, apostle paul resurrect them put them for us all we will still meet the same problem that they are meeting but you see there are things that we can do to start preventing the occurrence of cheating in the industry uh, if, if there's no one fighting for everybody, everybody begins to fight for themselves and then it becomes chaotic. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I understand. Um, 
on the aspect of it, everybody on your own. That is just the fact and the bitter truth. Now, an advice hmm? uh. to the OGs. Or let me use the advice to Idris. Uh. I think Idris, apart from the mistake he made, there were redemption. Uh. The, the the, the redemption he had was to upgrade his talent. Because uh. most of the new things he tried to do is still sounding like the old record. And the sound has, has moved on for a very long time. Uh. It is, it is sounding 24 years ago. Now, instead of you to fight these young boys, why not try to work with them? That is what I would, before I call the major person, Two Face has been in this country for a very long time, but he's still relevant today, and he's always accepting the fact that he's an OG. There was something. Uh, there was a letter Two Face wrote to South Sultan. He said, "Ah." I ah, will say you day I was waiting the apple no me now nah, I don't turn up coming at it so Afrobeat don't take over the world. That is a man speaking the truth. Two face can two face can still go to a show and still and still which word will I use and still mess most of his new boys up. But, but he's still admitting the fact that ah my time don't don't they pass. You know, say in a time don't pass, so my time don't they pass. But what he's doing, he did a song with Peruzzi. That time Peruzzi came out newly. It worked. Work with the new boys, collaborate with these new boys. Upgrade your sound. Let me go back to my my former artist, Casey. Let me tell you people something. 2001, no, 2010. Through 2001, when them whiskey they started coming. Yeah, 2000, 2010, 2011, 2012, all those period. Me and Casey will look at Omar. These new boys don't come. We we'll see tattoo for their hand. And Nigerian artists know they get tattoo normally. Mm -hmm. ah, the video don't, don't come. Omar Babalo, if they back when tattoo on in hand. Do you know what we did? Me and Casey will go Spain. On a go draw we'll go, tattoo. We we'll go draw tattoo for Casey. Huh? Casey, parents, na uh, law choosing tattoo. They like, like, like say you you keep person. Casey put tattoo just to follow time. Then and that's why he's still relevant today. He dropped yes, last year. Yeah, we strategize. We started using we check good software. This was his record. With the same analogy, which producer are they now produce on? We go find modern boys. Can they produce to do up? Me, I be producer, but I say, ah, I don't, I do a pocket. We start to produce the go small, small. I say, no, Casey, I cannot do this alone. Let's look for boys. That's when we now brought in Derby. Derby was hot, snappy, or was producer for whiskey, producer for other people. Now, so we start to, now God give us Lipopo. Hmm. As God give us Lipopo, the same show that they call David. And whiskey that they call Casey. Mm. That was Casey, eleventh year in the industry. It called like say, he just follow this boy then start. Immediately we did the pocket remix with uh, Davido. Casey, mm. he come turn to their mates. Mm. Mm. I don't know, you know the point like that. Uh, Davido drop Gobe. Casey drew. Pull over, carry whiskey, put on top. Follow time. See Casey to today. He did eleven. Casey dropped one hit song last year. Last he, year. If they drop every year, they drop hit every year. You know, go one day. You see how you drop, we go there with Osley. Osley don't know mm. say Casey like Papa mate. But he did with time because he followed time. You know, go podcast, they go cause all these artists. Mm. 
Uh, but you see, you see, in fairness to Idris now, because I think maybe I've been hard on Idris all this while. In fairness to Idris, if the account of what happened on that plane, like you said, so so, mm -hmm. really affected his career, then he might have still been bitter. Because we just noticed that after Nigeria, Jaga Jaga, Idris was going like this, then all of a sudden, die. You cannot fight Nigerian government. You cannot fight Nigerian breweries then. This industry evolves. Again, when Allah buy international line, they control our entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Then I go to carry mm -hmm. a bike, they go to Alaba every day. Today, Alaba is no more. When last anybody buy CD for traffic, things they change. That is freeze. You know when I record radio, you can't sleep, make you play my artist their song. Yes, now. You know when I record Cool FM, make you play, make you play my song, play my artist's song. How many people see they go radio? Nobody. Now on the radio, they find song where they rain. <laughs> because you go iTunes, this, no play song where they the rain. Where all this, everybody, they come meet Nedu. And <laughs> because this interview, we share them. Nedu do <laughs> uh, uh, Charlie Boy and Idris. Me, I do Petwila, uh, <laughs> Tony, um, Eddie. So, so, <laughs> so, one week is coming. So, and guess what? Nedu used to be on the radio. I used to be on the radio. Mm -hmm. Nedu and I were co colleagues on the radio. Yes. So, waiting week two for the carry go give radio. If radio had treated us better. Okay. But that's a conversation for another day. For another day. If radio had treated us better. Follow I time. Remember when, Follow you know, time. You see, I, that's why we broke that. You see, when I was breaking out, somebody insulted me one day on. Twitter, I said, I can't believe that if he left his pinnacle of his career radio job to come and be doing this online. Baba, I noticed that radio was a dying breed. <laughs> Let me tell you, right now as I'm talking to, people used to listen to radio in traffic. They are listening to us in traffic now. Yes, yes. That's a fact. They are listening to us in traffic. Baba, it gets places where they go and they wear nose mask. Four years after COVID, and they wear nose mask. Before they wear them because of bacteria virus. Now are they wearing them because I cannot take 30 pictures in five minutes. So look at Nedu. He broke out of the radio and went and created his own the podcast. I broke out of the radio. I left the radio long before because I noticed that. And let me tell you something. I'll always say this. I remember when I took a glance at the radio books. I think in 2013, my show then was bringing in about 500 million naira a year. 500 million naira a year was about five million dollars or four point five million dollars. Yes, that time, mm -hmm. my show, my salary was two thousand dollars a month, and I was bringing in four million dollars a year. <laughs> it was not adding up at all. Do you understand? If they mm. had given me, say, you know what, whatever you're apart from these two thousand dollars we're giving you every month, you are going to own five percent of your show. This thing, where would they do now for the doer for radio? True, you understand what I'm telling you? True, all this, all what they do is doing, you will have been doing it for the radio. But guess what? They start fighting us, they start, they start trying to. so I'm not saying the radio did not try their best for us, but they could have evolved. With, look at people like N6. N6 was a talent. I don't know what happened. You, you, you know, so the whole industry itself, if you don't evolve, and Baba, every day, you can never understand, you can never understand the panic I go through. Every day, I wake up, I look at the internet, I'm going to be 50 in two years. I'm going to be 50 in two years. I look at the internet. I see what young cats are doing. Those boys, there's no get home training. They are going in. in. You know, normally, our generation, when one going, we use more Vaseline. These people are going in hard. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's, that's, a, moving, that's a moving train. Is it as in, so you've got to respect them. You've got to be able to work with them. You've got to be able to, Make allowance when they, they come. So, so 
maybe that's what maybe maybe even me i need to sit down with idris one-on-one -on -one, online or offline let's try to see how we can channel this because everybody they vex with industry if, if, I know. if you sit me down i begin to tell you what industry do me but, but let me tell you something whiskey's first album very first album that he ever launched in his life i was the mc i, I remember I, I'm not even call whiskey now make you pick my call i have interviewed when they were up and coming with contributed our quota there's at least up until now them rema them nine feet talks okay we no touch them we no do anything mm. Shena band, Shena Don Jazzy, Shena Wizzy, Shena, which nigeria we were playing Shena timaya i remember the first time i played timaya song on the radio somebody called